Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 4th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather news as well, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. Imagery brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. No major solar flares to look at. Just some plasma filaments whipping around and creating a few CMEs. Nothing in an Earth-directed fashion. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming. We do have a pretty busy sunspot region cresting in there. All that bright activity on the left side as well. Multiple filaments connected to that. And then outgoing here, we did have a coronal mass ejection from the outgoing sunspot region. It did produce possibly a B or a C class flare, but nothing major to report. Having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. No major solar flares, just a few filaments ripping away. And as well, pointing out our coronal holes in which we have one turning in the equatorial position and as well in the northern hemisphere of our sun. 193 angstroms here, just some amazing images of our sun. We did have a space weather event yesterday, propping our space weather alerts to a level two geomagnetic storm Right now, we have seven sunspot regions to look at. Having a look at these regions in motion. Current space weather conditions, there are none to report. Yesterday, we were up into level two geomagnetic. Solar winds are coming in at 398 kilometers per second and sustained solar X-ray flux remaining in a low, or sorry, a heightened B range right now. Still a couple anomalies. And as well, there's our KP of six from yesterday. Space Weather Prediction Center showing the most recent CME that did give us that space weather event yesterday. Enhanced imagery here showing our next sp minor space weather event, sixth into the seventh, if we don't get anything else in between. Latest ISWA space prediction spiral showing outgoing CME. And a little yellow circle there is Earth. And all of that yellow and green is space weather activity swinging around our sun. Having a look at LASCO 2, you can see Mercury leaving the view and as well Saturn leaving the view in the opposite direction. They did have a transition there behind the sun. And there's the most recent CMEs coming from the northern and southern hemisphere at the same time as outgoing equatorial region. Amazing images here. Alaska 2 and 3. And then have a quick look here at our magnetosphere. See how our shield is holding up? And there's definitely not as much pressure as there was last night. Earthquakes. Not much to talk about. We're actually pretty quiet, considering at about 200 earthquakes, according to USGS. Deepest being a 4.6 here, 578 kilometer depth in the Fiji region. Other than that, very quiet since we saw that 6.7 south of Australia. Looking at Malim and Philippines, and as well Kuliman, 5.2 and a 4.9 there. Bengkulu, Indonesia just northwest of the mighty Krakatoa. Activity up into northern Tibetan Plateau. Kyrgyzstan with a 5.3 magnitude earthquake, as well a 4.3 in Turkey, and as well a 4.2 reported in Greece. Other than that, pretty quiet through Iceland, all of a sudden gone quiet. South Sandwich Islands, the only earthquake in the Southern Hemisphere today, 4.9 towards the Michael Volcano subduction zone. South America reporting the 4.9 Chile and as well a 4.4 northward to Peru. Lots of activity through Puerto Rico today. 
largest being the 3.8 San Antonio, Puerto Rico, 4.2 there, southern Mexico towards Guatemala, and as well across the United States, largest being a 3.8 Nevada. Other than that, no major swarms to report except for Texas, Mexico border still. An increasing minor seismicity that has been building across Alaska and then Japan all of a sudden gone quiet as well. We've seen quite a bit of activity this week. Having a look here at the last seven days for shakers around the world, all of the red earthquakes being the most recent, larger earthquakes, elevated rings showing the depths of the earthquakes. Heads up everybody, this channel is all about staying aware and prepared. Hashtag no fear here. If you live in an earthquake prone zone or by a volcano, you need to be ready. And earthquakes can be forecasted and they have been forecasted here and with many other channels. So heads up. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast brought to you by our 44 volcanoes that are active and erupting around the planet. And it looks like towards Central America, pretty large eruption through um, Galapagos Islands, quite possibly the Wolf Volcano. Lots of SO2 swinging around from the Northern Hemisphere, all of the volcanoes in Kamchatka, Eastern Russia. Still quite a bit of SO2 in the Northern Hemisphere right now, as per normal. Having a look here, Australia, Africa, and all through Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, Philippines, overlooking Europe. Lots of SO2 has been coming from the Grindavik volcano. It's not erupting, but still releasing a lot of SO2 gases, sulfur dioxide. And then let's have a look here at this big plume. It's coming off of quite possibly the Wolf Volcano towards the Galapagos Islands. This is new. This was not on the map yesterday. So possible new volcano awakening in that region. Going to have to look into that. Now let's get to weather. Brought to you by Windy.com. Two systems now affecting. One is affecting Canada, bringing blizzard conditions and snow towards eastern Canada and the prairies. And then a big system moves in to the west coast, northern west coast. At the same time, a gulf system here develops, raking up at the east coast United States. And it will bring some snow in the long range. Yeah, we had record high temperatures today, 19 degrees Celsius. But it's not going to last long. It's going to be an interesting outro to winter, even for Europe. You've got multiple systems affecting you this week. You're not going to see a high-pressure ridge until towards the middle of the month. Overlooking Australia and Africa, still got a cyclone that is forecasted to rake down western parts of Madagascar, but it's not going to linger around in the southern parts of it, as was forecasted the other day. Lots of moisture increasing towards central regions. And then overlooking North Pacific here, multiple systems moving through this week. Watch for a lot of moisture and some heavy snow moving into Alaska and the Aleutian Islands and even through parts of Washington this week. And in the long range, middle of the month, big outro to winter. Much love everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.